Let's talk about the concept that all of me is welcome here. It is Thursday night and I'm just wrapping up things here in my private practice. And I had the opportunity to listen to the Thursday night support group on emotional sobriety that's available and free to everyone. I love this support group on Thursdays with Dr. Alan Berger. And somebody made a comment about all of me is welcome here. And what I love about this idea is that it involves reclaiming yourself, reclaiming all of who you are wholeheartedly, fully, without this judgment against thoughts and feelings and experiences. We no longer have to survive by rejecting parts of what we feel and what we think and what we need and what has happened to us that we couldn't control and couldn't change but we did have to survive. So growing up, the way we survived so often was to separate ourselves from those experiences to or to enmesh with them, where we owned other people's actions, other people's thoughts, behavior, and all those things. Now we're, we're not owning those things that don't belong to us. Instead, we're now saying, I'm going to be the best steward of me, which I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to be responsible for managing my life, for managing what I need. And I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up for me in this very loving, responsible way. So in order for us to do that, we're creating space for a new discovery, what Dr. Berger, Alan Berger would say, new possibilities for who I am, how I think about myself and about my future. We're saying, I now am going to make space for myself. I don't have to reject myself. I don't have to deny myself. I don't have to hide myself. I don't have to silence myself. Now, I'm not going to be unleashed and maybe make unwise choices by saying whatever I want, feeling whatever, or doing whatever I want at the cost of maybe what is wise and best for myself and my circumstances. I'm going to learn wisdom and apply that wisdom to my life so that I can be effective. So often I'll hear my clients say, I know that's really bad. I know I shouldn't do that. What we really want to do is think about it as effectiveness. That This is effective. That isn't effective and really begin the journey of equipping ourselves with the skills we need to be more masterful and effective. So what I'm talking about today all fits underneath the umbrella of emotional sobriety, where we aren't living from the top down, so to speak, where the outside world has all the power and our life is only okay if other people do it right or the circumstances are right. Um, having that kind of approach, that's a very childlike approach to ourselves and our lives. But as we adult, we are now turning that around to where I'm okay because I'm making myself okay. I am okay because I'm soothing myself. I'm regulating myself. I'm attending, asking, setting boundaries, doing all this stuff. Lots to say about that. I hope you'll join us tomorrow for the live on Friday on May 28th while I talk to Dr. Allen Berger about emotional sobriety and we can begin the journey of diving deeper into that concept, which I just love. As you know, if you've been following me, um, so I'm going to conclude with this. One of the psychologists that was on there, um, Roger, I believe is his name said that when we need soothing and we need comfort, we want to be able to give ourselves the freedom to ask somebody, please give me a hug, you know, comfort me. But in the event that you don't have that, you can begin to imagine somebody comforting you. He was talking about the book, uh, the issues are, or um, uh, the body keeps the score that we want to visualize and imagine somebody holding us in a very supportive, loving way, soothing us in a very supportive way. So either we can imagine ourselves being present this way or someone 
who is loving, maybe someone from our past that was very comforting to us or someone we know or we've seen in the public or on TV or a movie or something that was a great example of a loving, nurturing kindness and of, uh, of the kind of soothing and comfort that you want. So you can imagine it in your mind's eye and your brain will connect with that. It will uh, see that as as a soothing and comforting. So that's something you can do now when you're when you are suffering and if you are alone. And ideally we do want to build a community with other people that we can turn to for that support, but in the event that they are not available, we can turn to our higher power and we can also turn to ourselves and our visualizations. So that's what I have to say today. I hope that you make space for yourself today for new possibilities for who you are and what your life could be and that you begin to claim yourself and accept all parts of you. See you tomorrow at the live.